Hello, friends and family from around the world. Mike with Daily Event Worldwide, and we are on December 8th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the sun for the past 48 hours. We did have an X class solar flare take off from the sun this morning, and it was from the outgoing sunspot region, but still pretty active sunspot region turning into view and as well plasma filaments that we're going to be keeping an eye on. As you can see, those filaments are stretching and dancing across the surface right now. Incoming active sunspot region as well. A couple more sunspot regions developing in the sunspot grouping. Looking out going here, this is where we had the X-class solar flare from that fiery sunspot region. And it did produce a pretty sizable coronal mass ejection visible here with daily events worldwide. But looking at 304 angstroms, active sunspot regions, this is showing the last three hours of activity on our sun. And as well, another light here. SDO is still down and most likely will be until the new year. So thank you so much for tuning in today. All of this brought to you, brought by, to you by Gong, Gong and NSO, NSO courtesy, courtesy of, of India. India. Having, a look, Having a look here at coronal hole regions, three in, three the, in the north, north one in the south, and as well, and as well five sunspot, sunspot regions, regions on the visible right disc now. right now. 3910 is the culprit. Is the culprit. For the, for the most, most recent X-class solar, solar flare, current space, current space weather, weather, weather conditions, strong, strong R3 radio blackout impacts expected to high frequency, to high frequency radio. radio. Solar winds solar are coming in at 437 kilometers per second, earth-facing earth coronal hole, increased, increased solar, solar wind speeds. Now let's, now let's have a look at solar X-ray flux. flux. You can see X2.2 class, class solar flare after some heightened activity yesterday, 2M class. Solar proton flux is low, geomagnetic activity is low as well. Space weather, space weather prediction, prediction center, center showing the most recent, most recent space weather spiral and predictions, and predictions for solar storms. storms. Minor geomagnetic instability expected overnight tonight. Nothing, Nothing major. major. And, here's and here is that big coronal mass ejection, ejection taken off from the sun from the most recent X-class solar flare, flare set to give us a glancing blow 11th into the 12th of December. December. This thing, this thing was taken, taken off right at Mercury. Mercury. And as well, well the Parker, Parker Solar, Solar Probe. Here is tonight's, tonight's Aurora view line, view line and tomorrow's as a pretty, as a pretty small, small chance for Aurora, Aurora sightings. Now let's have, now a, let's have a look at Lasco 3, 3 showing the broad spectrum of cosmic, of cosmic energies leaving our sun. There's the, there's the most recent coronal, coronal mass ejection quickly, quickly taking, taking off from the equatorial, the equatorial region of our sun. Other than, Other than that, that no sun, no sun diving, diving comets, comets and other no major, no major earth, earth facing solar, solar events. events. Now let's have, now a, let's have a look at earthquakes as it started as off pretty busy, busy with a 6.0 on Kuril Islands, but then we, but then we quickly, quickly thereafter saw a 6.3 at Adak, Alaska, multiple, multiple aftershocks, aftershocks through the region. region. So, so I had warned this throughout this week, week stay, stay tuned, tuned for larger earthquakes. Last night, Last night was an earthquake watch video. 6.0 Kuril Islands, Islands and then 6.3 Alaska. No, no tsunami with that, with that earthquake. Notable, Notable deep earthquakes, deep earthquakes here. here. Timor Leste, Indonesia, Indonesia. Bandasi, Banda and as well, and as well deep, deep earthquake here, here. 589 kilometer depth. Fiji, Fiji region. 5.4 earthquake as well towards, towards the reef volcano. volcano. Bellany Islands reporting a 4.8, rare place for, place for earthquakes. As well, as well look at this. Nazca, Nazca Plate, Plate East, East Pacific Rise, Rise reporting a 5.6, 5 5.0, 5 and a 5.1. And the earthquakes continue through, through and, off and off the coast of California, California moving northward towards the Juan de Fuca Plate. Plate. Heads, up, Heads up, everybody. Largest through the region was a 4.3 Petrolia, California. California. USGS reporting 280 earthquakes in the 24-hour period. Notable, Notable there, 5.2 earthquake as well, as well atop, atop the largest, the largest dormant volcano, volcano on the Iceland, on the island, on the island of Iceland. Iceland. Notable 5.8 yesterday, yesterday, South, South Mid-Atlantic Mid Ridge. Ridge. All this, All this activity, activity 
here forecasted with daily events worldwide and thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of this channel i really appreciate all the love and support that you guys pour out as well i'm happy to be able to share all of this information and content with you this is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers across the world heads up south american plate we've seen the activity now in the northeast pacific ring of fire it's going to bounce back over to turkey towards the north african plate and then most likely south america but still heads up on the fuca plate in northward to alaska now let's, now let's have a look at world weather. We're going to start out looking at temperature maps as we've got some extreme cold temperatures stretching down from the Northwest Territories this week. And it will be a roller coaster event as some pretty warm temperatures will be rolling in and out of that high pressure ridge throughout the week. Extreme polar conditions, minus 27, minus 30 maybe even minus 35 with the wind chill in some areas, mostly eastern Canada. Parts of Quebec here forecasted to see minus 27 degrees Celsius. Now let's overlook Russia, Southeast Asia, as this is all going to be swirling around minus 43 degrees Celsius in some of these regions. Winter is here, folks. It's going to be an interesting week, warm to cold, warm to cold, but most dominantly and prominently will be cold. So still, blizzard-like conditions expected and forecasted here for eastern Canada, Quebec, and as well, pretty strong system moving into the coastline through parts of Oregon, Washington, and then watch that thing scoot across the prairies, Alberta Clipper, Colorado Low in the long range, multiple systems. Just, just a train, a train wreck of low pressure systems, systems scooting, scooting across, across the North American continent, continent all week long. So, so needless, needless, to, needless say, to say, it will not be a dry week at all. Overlooking, overlooking Europe, Europe, Africa, Africa Southeast, Southeast Asia, Asia, big low, big low pressure, pressure system eventually will get squeezed out by the high through, through the Mediterranean. Possible, possible cyclone will make, will make landfall, landfall the northern, the northern tip, tip of Madagascar. Madagascar Forecasted, forecasted cyclone for the northwestern region of Australia, no longer in the forecast line of fire. As it looks, as it looks like it will be scooting into the Indian Ocean. Pretty strong, Pretty strong system, system, though, affecting New Zealand in the long range. And then again, and then again we'll leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean. Multiple strong storms all week long. Atmospheric compression earthquakes, it's a thing. Heads up, Alaska and all across. Pacific, Pacific Northeast Ring, Ring of Fire. Strong, strong system, system long range forecast, 14th into the 15th for Northern California and northward to BC. Watch for high winds and a lot of moisture. Much love, everybody. Stay aware, prepared, stay up, and have fun.